This time I'm going to show you the hessian ribbon. This hessian ribbon has kind of a lace covering on it and the same idea, wrap it around the neck, bring the back part into the front, squash in the center. This is quite thick and quite heavy. I do have a smaller version of this hessian and probably be easier to work with. So again, a narrow piece of the florist ribbon, tie it around the center. Now, by the way, the florist ribbon does come in different shades. But included in your kit, I probably went for the more natural, the green one. And that way then it'll blend in with the colour of the spruce and it's easier to hide. But if you at home have got different colours of it and you want to tie it up with red or brown or cream or whatever colour you have, absolutely work away. It'll look just as well. All you're seeing is just that tiny bit in the centre. So it really doesn't make any difference what colour you decide to use. There's no wire inside the hessian, so you're fluffing it out yourself, you know what I mean? So you can see the way my hands, like fluff them out there as much as you can. Chuck the two tails down because you do find the tails kind of go east and west. Another trick is you can kind of get your two tails together at the same time, especially if you find it hard to keep the two of them the same length. Fold them over. Always make sure the folded side is on the same side that your scissors is on, okay? Start back about an inch and a bit. The sharper the V or the triangle you cut, sometimes the nicer. Cut all the way over to the corner. And then when you open it out, you see where you get your triangles. There's your two triangles. And there's your hessian bow. Now that would look really nice on a kind of maybe a more natural type of wreath where you were maybe using, like say, a lot of the fruits, etc. But as I said, this ribbon comes in a narrower version and might be easier for you to work with. So again, same idea. Wrap it around the neck and cross it under the chin. You get the back part and you bring it in level to the front. So you can see the narrow ribbons are easier to work with. But still, it wasn't a big deal to do them thick ribbons either. Squash in the centre, there's less to squash in. And as I said, the hessian is quite heavy. And I have a narrow piece of ribbon then to tie around the centre. Pull your two strings to the back and tie your double knot as tight as you can. Now again, I can't emphasize how hard or how tight you have to pull down the strings, get them as tight as you can. Go back then, open out the loops, fluff them up and fancy off your tails, which I've already done. And again, there's a lovely, simple hessian bow using the narrower version.